options there. Of course, if he loses either one, if he loses both, of course, this game will swing drastically towards Flash's favor here. Um, Flash needs to get there quickly, though. He has just a small troop here. Um, he's going to need some really good micro, and the Nidus is up there. So that Nidus is going to be really effective. Flash running in without good... Oh, man, without that scan, he loses a large clump of Medic Marine there, and he really should be irradiating those uh, nice um, uh, pull there with... Uh, the Medic Marine, but looks like the Fire is going to get a swarm off, and uh, this Ragtag Force here is not going to be able to get in. Flash, I'm not sure if he has enough Radiant to get all the troops as they come out, but that Ninus Canal is so crucial right now. Flash, I think, may be getting his second expansion up at the uh, 9 o'clock position, but I actually don't see anything there. Maybe he's just blending in with the mini-map. Flash trying to reinforce here with another Sausage Fest, but um, he needs those mechs to be in the right position, and oh, Flash is just... He's going to lose these science vessels once again. Flash has been losing science vessels left and right this game, and I think this game is slipping out of his hands right now. Um, Zero just uh, has reinforced that base too well, I think, for Flash to break in. Flash's main chance is here. Flash needs to get in. Actually, Flash has... Oh, this is actually really creative here. I didn't know he could do that. Flash um, mined out his... Uh, He's mining that second expansion from behind there, uh, killing the temple, and, and he's not going to mine the gas, but he's going to get the minerals um, somewhat uh, inefficiently, but he's still going to be able to do it. Now, Flash going for the attack there. A lot of... Oh, and Flash with a dropship, though! Flash with a dropship, but Zero with a huge plague over the science vessels. Once again, he's going to take out a lot of these. Uh, Flash with the uh, science vessels, though, could even it up, because he will be able to take out the expansion, I think. But no, Flash needs to be careful. Good plague off on Flash's units there. Flash retreating there. Uh, he still has un been uh, unable to break the front or uh, do a lot of damage in the back there. Spore colonies killing off science vessels. This game's getting crazy here. Zero with some really good use of defilers. In fact, I was watching the game I cast out of him in July, and I noted he had really good defiler use. Um, you should watch that game just to see the um, sort of the differing paths of two players. Zero uh, getting uh, being really bad back then and getting much better, and Flash being the real bonjour back then, and since then he's really slipped up a lot. Um, so <laughs> do check out that game, Flash vs. Zero, uh, in my account from June. Uh, ahead also with me, another dual commentator who has been MIA since then, uh, the true blue. But anyway, um, Flash now with a group just in the middle of nowhere, in front of uh, Zero's base, and I don't know what he's doing there. Oh, Flash. No, what is Flash doing? Flash. Oh my god, he's losing it. Um, he just lost another 12 Marines there for nothing. And Flash still unable to get in here. No, it looks like he will be able to get in. Finally, is this too late, though? I don't know. Um, uh, Zero has another... Has another... I believe another, uh, what you call it, Nidus Canal inside of his uh, main base there at the 1 o'clock position. I think he's going to be able to pour reinforcements in. That one Ultra is going to do a lot of damage. Great Defiler Control. Forcing those Medic Marine into the corner there. Flash with just three Medic Marine there left there. And I don't think Flash can win this game now. Flash with just one Marine. He broke the front entrance there for a second. But <laughs> now that one Marine, uh, three Marines actually, going to try to be heroes there against the Ultra. But it's not going to be enough, I think. Flash has has picked up his natural, uh, his mineral only though, so Flash is not going to be hurting in terms of his resources, but I think Zero is going to be able to come back on the uh, counter-offensive with his Ultralisks. He's already at 4-1 there with his Ultras, probably soon at 5-2, and that's going to be really hard for SK Terran to deal with, especially if you've been losing Science Vessels as Flash has been left and right this entire game. Here comes Flash with a major attack here, once again without enough medics, but um, <laughs> Flash irradiating some uh, Ultras, but can't land there with his dropship. Flash trying his signature move of uh, multi-pronged attacks, but in fact, he's the one who's uh, who's caught off um, with poor control here. Flash getting attacked at that mineral only. That's what I mean. Flash is not going to be able to defend there. Once the Ultras come in, really, Zero can go on the offensive right now. Zero stopping the mining at that mineral only. Flash streaming some forces north now towards the upper right once again. He's trying to pull off those multi-front attacks. This game is still in contention. I won't say Zero has won the game yet, but Flash is still just not doing well here. He did manage to disrupt some mining there. We did see uh, a low drone count there at the upper right, but I think Zero still has um, a significant lead. I think he's also expanding at the upper left or thinking about it. No, those are actually just Zergling, so actually Flash might be doing more disruption than I thought. Zero, though, coming with a nice attack here. He needs a, a defiler uh, to to um, Plague, or um, there's the Plague, and there's the Swarm. I was just going to say Swarm and Plague, and he's got both of them. Oh, that Defiler might be caught, though, but he could pull off a giant Plague if he uh, manages to stay alive. It looks like he's going to just run and run away. I uh, wish he has Burl there, but it looks like he doesn't. Um, 
By the way, happy Thanksgiving for all the Americans and uh, Canadians out there. Uh, I will be doing more casting this weekend, including perhaps an entire series uh, in the Pro League. I won't give away what it is just yet, but you might actually see an entire series, which is crazy, because usually I don't have time for that, obviously, um, anymore. And uh, Flash, still in this game, but all oh, those Science Missiles, all at 1 HP, uh, badly damaged, and one Mulesk, of course, could uh, kill off a lot of them. Flash still with those dropships. He just could be so deadly with those dropships. One sc Oh, no! Oh, no! Flash losing that one dropship full of units. Undoubt- Oh, no! Flash is going to lose it to the Spore! Flash loses a dropship to a Spore colony! Oh, man! Flash! Ah, oh, that, that, I think, has got to be uh, some nails in the coffin there. Two fully loaded dropships uh, guaranteed there. One loss to one Scourge, one loss to one Spore. Ouch. And uh, Flash just didn't know that they were plagued, perhaps. Or, um, I don't know. I guess he just didn't know. Um, <laughs> Flash <laughs> defends Matrixing a, uh, a Marine there and uh, valiantly fighting off some of these Ultras. But I think Zero is just going to have a huge production advantage pretty soon. His macro is just going to overcome Flash. Flash with not enough units. GG coming from Flash. Wow, Zero closing out another ace match, and Zero is now, uh, I believe, 10 and 4 now. Ridiculous. Um, he's going to be tied with Flash. Actually, I think 93 might have been uh, the statistics before this match. I'm not sure exactly, but in any case, Zero certainly impressing me with his play this game, and Flash uh, delivering an underwhelming performance here. Certainly, um, he didn't really innovate at all. Firebat Hero certainly did innovate in his game against Jadong. Flash playing a standard game, and standard game usually is his strongest uh, play, but in this late game, he, he came into the late game you know, reasonably uh, tied or even slightly ahead because of the poor uh, Muta Harass of Zero, or the really non-existent Muta Harass, and uh, Flash came in the late game ahead and just couldn't pull it against Zero's very, very good Defiler control. Flash also had some poor control, though, I gotta say, um, losing those science vessels, losing those dropships unnecessarily, uh, losing clumps of medic marines everywhere, and uh, Flash still is a strong player in Pro League, but Seriously, he has been choking recently, um, of course getting eliminated in round 32 in the MSL and in the last OSL getting eliminated, I believe, in the round of, uh, round of 8 by GG Play. So Flash, um, having trouble against Zerg recently, uh, KTF losing yet another series, and, uh, you know, them and SKT1 are, are very good teams who have not been going doing well this season, um, Hambit is a possibly not great team who's been doing excellent this season, and, uh, you know, that's, that's what makes StarCraft great, the surprises. So hope you guys enjoy this commentary, and stay tuned for more commentaries. Happy Thanksgiving once again from Cholera.